Hello and welcome. It is time, you guys, for February favorites. This is always the time of the year, right around like the end of February, beginning of March, where I feel like time starts to really go quickly. Every January is so long. And then I feel like the first half of February, I have a January hangover. <laughs> so now that we're to the very beginning of March, I feel like things are starting to really pick up. And I'm gonna be honest, I found so many more like products that I just am in love with for February than I was really expecting. I, I'm really excited about that because I felt like I was definitely in a beginning of the year rut. So now that I have found some nice, fun new favorites, I am feeling really great. I'm going to go in a very random order today. I kind of feel like switching it up. I generally start like at skin prep and go through kind of my favorites in the order that I'd put them on my face. But today I'm just feeling like changing things up a little bit. I'm going to start with my favorite lip combo right now. It's the one that I'm wearing today and it is a lip liner and lip gloss combo. The lip liners Oh my gosh, I have so many positive things to say. So the lip liner I'm using is Lumiere from ColourPop. It's this awesome mauve color. I'm gonna swatch it for you right now. It's just a fantastic cool toned mauve pink. This is like a bread and butter shade for me. I could wear this every day and be completely happy with it. The reason I've been doing a lip pencil and lip gloss combo is because I have Invisalign now and so for the next I guess 10 weeks that I have left it's probably going to be pretty hard for me to be doing just lipstick. I've noticed that when I use a lipstick it gets on the Invisalign no matter what so I have been really depending on lip pencils. Now this particular lip pencil that is my favorite is actually part of a set. You cannot purchase it on its own but this set is really amazing, you guys, and I've been using it a lot. This is the Color Pop Must Have Stash Lippy Pencil Cup. It comes in this amazing leather cup, and you get 36 lip liners for $79 you get like every shade of lip liner imaginable. There is no way I will need a different shade. These are all kinds of colors. You've got browns, you've got pinks, you've got reds, cool toned, warm tone, true neutral. I think there's even, oh no, <laughs> this is a different, this is an eyeliner I threw in there. I was like, is there a black one? <laughs> but there is a very, a very deep dark one that I actually used in my Jean Harlow beauty biography. So I've been leaning heavily on these to do my lip liner with, just to give color to my lips. They they are amazing. They stay in place. Ooh, a little bit of a lisp coming on there. <laughs> and the great thing about having this variety for me is because I've been, you know, my makeup's been switching up a lot when I do beauty biography. I do that every Friday. And a lot of times I'm using a color palette for that particular starlet. Like when I did Doris Day last Friday, that was a very peachy, corally look. So I used a peachy corally lip liner. And when I did Jean Harlow, that was very vampy. And there was a vampy lip liner in here. So getting this set has just made it really great for me because since I got this before Christmas, I have not purchased another lip liner because I don't need to. And for me, I used to be the kind of person that would purchase a new lip liner all the time thinking like, oh, well, I don't have one in that color. But now, whatever color I can think of that I'm going to wear, I probably have it in here. So for me, this was a fantastic investment. I also love how nice this little leather cup is. I take the other side of it and I use it as a brush holder. I put my brushes, some of my brushes in here and I just, I love this. It is fantastic. So the combo I've been loving is the Lumiere, this nice pink mauve shade. And I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in Pillow Talk. It's such a perfect, universally flattering shade, and on me, it's just, I mean, this is just, it's perfect. It's perfect, I love it. It's mauve cool tone pink. It just looks so flattering. I feel like my lips look just lovely. I feel very pretty in this lip combo, so I have been living for this. This is the Jewel Lip Gloss formula. I've got it right here next to the liner, and you can see, it's just a gorgeous flattering shade. I absolutely love this. There's a little bit of like a rose gold sparkle to it, a little bit of a shift. It is so dimensional, so light reflective. It just looks, I mean, come on. I absolutely love this lip combo. So that is my favorite lip combo for the month. 
Next, I'm gonna go to eyes. Like I said, I'm just gonna skip around. My favorite eye product this past month have been the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I am obsessed with these. They are amazing. The formula is super creamy. I love that it's like a crayon so I can apply it right on and then blend it out. I have a lot of control over it. I love that they blend out for me. I'm wearing them today. They blend out softer than I can ever, ever blend a powder shadow. I could probably get a powder shadow this diffused but it takes so much longer. These, I mean, this is just so quick to do. There's so many different ways to use them. I used two different shades today. I used cocoa on the lash line to blow it out, and then I put on burnished bronze, which is a nice bronzy shade. Those are two of my favorites. Cocoa is super, super versatile. It's a nice deep brown, a very neutral deep brown. You could use it anyone could use it. It's fantastic. It's just a good workhorse shade. So Coco is right here. It's this really nice deep brown and then you have burnished bronze, which is like a burgundy toned bronze. I feel like it's if burgundy and bronze had a baby, it would be this shade. A lot of times I think of bronze as being quite warm, but this bronze has a little bit of a cooler element to it that I find to be really flattering on me, especially this time of year in the winter where I, I feel a little bit pale I mean, it's pretty difficult for me to get any more pale than I am, but I find this shade to be extremely flattering and together they're beautiful. Again, those are the two that I'm wearing today on my lids. That brings me to my next favorite, which is a topper that I put on. This is the Chanel Illusion d'Ombre in the shade New Moon. This is a cream to powder shadow and it is so beautiful. I used this recently in my Jean Harlow Beauty Biography as a topper and I was blown away by how light reflective it is. It's just gorgeous. I've swatched it right here. It's a nice like burgundy shimmer shade but it comes across very sheer and light reflective. You could of course build it up a little bit. You can see in the pan it looks quite a bit darker than it actually looks once you put it on. It's right here on my finger as well but it shears out a bit and I find it to just be amazingly beautiful as a topper for cream shadow. It just adds an extra element of dimension and reflectivity and it looks, I mean, this feels so editorial to me. It's almost like a wet look when I put it on top of the Laura Mercier caviar stick. So I have been pulling this out pretty frequently and I've just re-fallen in love with it. I've actually had this, I think for almost a year now and I, I never really thought much about it and when I pulled it out for that Jean Harlow video, I was just in love and now I'm I'm obsessed. I wanna try it over some different colors. Uh, it's exciting for me when I find a product that I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna keep using this and trying it in different ways. So that's how I feel about the caviar sticks and that shadow from Chanel. It's just, I mean, look at this combo. How beautiful is that? When I find a combo like this, that is gold to me. Let's bounce on over to Skin Prep, a product I was not expecting to fall in love with, but dang if I didn't, is this Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. I only had the little like baby versions of this, but somehow I had accumulated three of the little baby ones. I have been using this to prep my skin almost every day under my makeup. I am in love. This is like silk on the skin. It is so, it melts into the skin like butter, like butter. It is, oh my gosh, fantastic. I am obsessed. I ordered the biggest one that they have on Sephora. It's a special edition one. I ordered it, it's on its way. I cannot wait for it to get here because I have just barely enough left to do like maybe two more days. I am in love, I am in love. I am very picky about moisturizers. This is the perfect consistency for me. I have dry skin and we're in the middle of winter, so I really need something to go under my makeup. It has to be a moisturizer that's rich enough, but that also melts into the skin enough that it's not going to cause you know any slippage with my foundation. This fits the bill. I understand why people are obsessed with it. I know I'm so late getting on this train, but man, oh man, it's good. Another skin prep product that I have been using 
basically daily. Even on days I don't wear makeup, I am using this. It is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. My dear, dear friend, Kate, Kate the Great Beauty. I know many of you came here from her. She is a gem of a human being and she makes some of the best recommendations, period. If by chance you're not here from her channel, definitely check it out. I will link her down below. We have very similar skin colorings and we also have very similar standards for, for makeup and skincare. They're high, high standards. So if you two have high standards, you will, you will enjoy her recommendations. This is a brand that I actually tried on her recommendation. I initially thought that Glow Recipe was like teenager skincare. Like I didn't think it was going to be good for me, Boy, was I wrong. So on Kate's recommendation, I asked for a bunch of Glow Recipe products for Christmas. I actually did a whole haul on a lot of the stuff I got for Christmas, like skincare related and some makeup. I will be sure to link it down below and in the eye if you wanna check that out. This was one of the products I got and I love it. They named this Dew Drops and I think it's actually a perfect, perfect name because it is very much a serum-like product, but it has a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't feel too slippy under makeup and I absolutely love applying it right before I do my primer. It just gives an amazing, amazing glow to the skin. It makes my skin feel a little bit more hydrated and I love that it has niacinamide in it. Niacinamide is such a superhero skincare ingredient. Niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3 and it helps your skin build up certain proteins that it needs to repair damage and to protect your skin. So it is a fantastic like proven ingredient that can really help your skin uh, fight for itself, help your skin protect itself and repair itself. And oh my gosh, if my skin does not just absolutely love this ingredient, I have been using this, like I said, every day and I feel like I notice that my skin is brighter throughout the day. I don't notice as much kind of, I've talked about this before, I'm always trying to avoid like the 3 p.m. dull skin. I will wake up in the morning and my skin looks so bright and beautiful, but then around 3 p.m., if I don't do any skincare that day, if I just you know wash my face and throw on moisturizer, by 3 p.m., I'll notice I look a little bit more dull. Uh, so I love products that help my skin repair itself. And a lot of times in the morning, I, I know there's that expression that at night you should repair your skin and in the daytime you should protect your skin, but I really do love that this is an ingredient that is helping my skin do both. Next, I wanna shift away from makeup for a minute. I'm gonna come back because I have some face products. I have a foundation and a concealer that I am in love with that I wanna share, but I wanna share a fragrance favorite that I recently found. I had the company Lux SB reach out to me. It's this one right here. I love their I love their branding. They reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a trial, like a three month supply of their luxury fragrance subscription box. I went on their site because before I say yes to anyone sending me anything, I like to see, okay, like, would I, is this something I would actually like or use? And I wasn't sure because I kind of long ago gave up on subscription boxes. It has been a long time since there has been any kind of beauty subscription that I've wanted to sign up for. A lot of times I feel like you just end up spending $20, $30 a month on a box of things that you then have to figure out what to do with the things that they sent you. <laughs> so I'm kind of always wary about subscription boxes, but I went on the Lux SB site and I read their concept and I was like, wow, I really like this. Basically, the whole idea of it is that every month you pay either $15 or $20. They have two plans. You spend $15 for standard or $20 for premium, and they send you a one month supply of one fragrance every month. You can pick a fragrance that you want, or you can take a quiz and they'll match you with a fragrance. I used to wear the same exact fragrance every day for oh my God, at least five years. More than that, I think. It was Alien by Terry Mugler. 
Still absolutely love that fragrance. It is one of my favorites of all time. But last year, I'm not sure if it's because I was just, you know, staying at home a lot. I started wanting to switch up my fragrance uh, because I felt like it was just a way to feel like something was a little bit different. And I don't know, it makes me feel really good. When I smell like good and being able to switch fragrances with my mood, I just really like that. But I kind of put a pause on buying new fragrances because I felt like I was just buying bottles of perfume, using them for a couple weeks, and then I wanted something new. I wanted to try something new. So it was like, I just was spending so much money on fragrances that I definitely wasn't getting as much use as I was spending for them. I just wasn't getting my money's worth. So when I saw this concept of, oh, you get a one month supply of a fragrance, and you can get a different one every month, that's perfect. So I said, sure, please, please send them to me. They had me take a little quiz and then they matched me with a few fragrances for me to try out. And I was thinking, you know what? If the execution is as good as the idea, I will love this. And the execution is really good. I was really impressed, you guys. I don't know why. I was thinking maybe they were gonna send me like a little plastic atomizer. <laughs> That's not at all what they do. So they send you your little, your one month supply of fragrance comes in a box like this, which is so beautiful. Again, I love their branding. And then the atomizer you get is really nice. It is metal, so I love that because it's 100% recyclable. It's not one use plastic. It is this nice metal travel atomizer and it twists up. It's so super nice. Like look, how, that looks so nice in your purse. It doesn't feel like, I just, I was worried. I was like, what if they send it to me and it's it's crappy? <laughs> but it wasn't, it's so super nice. And this is my favorite thing. They send you a card about the fragrance that you get. This is my favorite one that they sent me. It's the Mason Sibarit 720. This is a unisex perfume. I love unisex perfumes. And on here, it tells you the head notes, the heart notes, and the base notes. So I also feel like, oh, I'm like learning a little bit about the fragrance. That is one of my favorite things to have because when I'm trying to then find a new fragrance I like, sometimes I have to go like look up, okay, well, what's in this fragrance? And I have to try to think, what is it I like about that? So having this here to kind of help me educate myself a little bit more about the notes that I like and just the fact that I took that quiz, they sent me three different perfumes I love every single one of them. They're just fantastic. So obviously they're onto something with the way that they match you because it worked for me. And trust me, I am very, very picky about fragrances. Lux SB did send me a coupon code that you guys can use for 35% off. That code is Ashley A. It gives you 35% off your first month. So if you went with the standard subscription, that's normally $15 for a one month supply of one fragrance. You can get that for less than $10. It's like, it comes up to like $9.75, I think. I thought that was an incredible deal. I don't make anything off you using that code or anything like that. They were just kind enough to send me a trial subscription for free. I really love the idea. I think it's a great idea and I loved the fragrance that they sent me. So I wanted to pass that coupon code along to you guys in case you're interested. Moving on to face makeup. All right, so the foundation I'm wearing on my face today that I really love is again, another product that like, I'm so late trying. Everyone else has already tried this, but it is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish, Skin Fetish? Fetish? I always wanna say fetish with a D. I think that's the North Carolina in me. It's the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I am wearing the shade Light 5, which is a perfect match for me. I absolutely love it. I do want to point out that the Sephora site, when it tried to match me, it wanted to match me to light seven, and I did not agree with that assessment. I have an entire, I have a link down below, an entire link. Yes, I have an entire link down below that links to my site where I list my foundation shade and all my favorite foundations. So if you've not seen that before, check it out down below. Uh, you can see maybe if we have the same skin coloring and it might help you have an idea when you're trying to match yourself to a foundation. Sephora wanted me to go with light seven. I said, no, that's too yellow and I was right. I went with light five, which is for light skin with 
yellow neutral undertones and it ended up working really well for me my skin is quite neutral uh, so this shade was just fantastic again I'm wearing it today I love the finish it is such a natural skin finish this is a perfect middle ground workhorse foundation to me it is skin finish it is medium coverage you can lighten it up a little bit like today I applied it with a damp sponge I can still see freckles I can still see my skin it feels and looks so healthy it is very light on the skin I don't feel the foundation which is huge for me but you can also build this up if you apply it with a brush you're gonna get a little more of a fuller coverage a fuller medium coverage but you could still build it up even more if you needed to for me at least I really like for my skin to look like skin I like to see pe uh, freckles and a little bit of rosiness peeking through and this fits the bill I absolutely love this and again I feel kind of silly that I waited so long to try it the last product I want to share today is a concealer and oh my gosh if I would have tried this in 2020 it might have been my favorite it would have been my favorite foundation of 2020 I am in love it is the Shiseido synchro skin concealer I wear the shade 101 fair this concealer is if you have dry under eyes, dry skin, you have a little bit of fine lines going on, this concealer, I think you're really going to like it. I think you would really love it. I am absolutely in love with how natural and brightening this concealer is. I put it on, it looks so natural, it feels so hydrating, it never feels dry on my under eyes, which hardly ever happens for me because my under eyes are generally the driest part of my face and I have dry skin everywhere. Oh, I love when I have swatches. I always feel like it just looks so dirty. It drives me nuts. Anyway, I love that this does not dry me out under the eyes. It feels hydrating. It feels light, but it still gives coverage. It brightens everything up under there and it doesn't settle into fine lines or the little like, I have these little baby creases right here because I have, my eyes are a little deeper set. So I kind of have like a little fold right here just naturally pretty much everyone has one but when your eyes are a little bit deeper set it can be a little more pronounced so I have like a permanent little crease under the eye this does not accentuate it and if I do feel like maybe it's settled a little bit I can just take my finger tap and it refreshes itself that's why it's called a synchro skin refreshing concealer self refreshing concealer because it can self refresh. There are many concealers that, most concealers I can refresh them. I might take like a beauty blender or a sponge, put a little bit of setting spray on them and just go in to, to help kind of refresh it up throughout the day. I love that I don't have to be so careful with this one. I can literally just take my finger, pat it, and it will settle itself back out. And it just looks, it's so nice. It's such a natural concealer. I absolutely am in love with this. I'm gonna get one for my mom. I wanna send one to her because I feel like she will love this concealer. And I feel like anyone who has any kind of little fine lines, creasing and dry under eyes, this concealer is a game changer. I really, I bought this last year and did not try it until this year. I don't know, I had it laying around for like three months before I opened it. And I feel like such a fool for that because it is, fantastic i honestly find myself not wanting to use anything else the last couple beauty biographies i've done i might use a different concealer in the t-zone just to switch things up but on my under eye i've not wanting i have not been wanting to use anything other than this i've been trying a few new ones so here and there i, I will use new ones but it's just i keep wanting to reach for this one because i just love the finished results so much it's so beautiful all right guys that wraps up february favorites i just feel i feel so good you know this was just one of those months where it was like i was so excited about these things that it was so easy for me to pick my favorites i was like yes i know exactly what i want to sit here and talk about i know the things that i'm excited about and that's just the best kind of month, you know? Like, I feel like sometimes you're in a little bit of a rut. January definitely felt that way for me. And being able to, like, come out of it and, and feel refreshed and excited about trying things and sharing these things with you guys, just, it was exactly what I needed. I'm ready for spring now. 
Whew, let's do it. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you.